there. Tonight, our reporters and photographers are spread out across the burn areas of Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, Ventura, and Santa Barbara counties. Let's start in LA County, where mandatory evacuations are now in effect for Cagle, Lopez, and Little Tahunga Canyons in the Creek Fire Burn area. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold is live in Little Tahunga Canyon. Adriana? Yeah, that's right. There are mandatory evacuations here. You can see the CHP stationed here at Little Tahunga Canyon Road. We are right where Osborne Street turns to Little Tahunga Canyon Road, and this is where the CHP has been turning people around all day long, telling them they are not allowed up the road here. Now, earlier we did talk to sheriffs. They said that they have already had several boulders fall onto the road, and they are not taking any chances letting people up this road. Road's closed. He's been around. Car after car turned around on Little Tahunga Canyon Road as the community braces for a big storm. Chris Manhart works night security at the Wildlife Way Station, home to 400 animals. And we're talking about lions and tigers and bears and all sorts of stuff. So it's not like dealing with cats and dogs where you can just put them in a kennel and get them out of there. Chuck O'Donnell trains about seven horses at DND &D Farms. They were evacuated during the Creek Fire and couldn't come back for 13 days. He was given a warning about this storm and told if he was going to get the horses out, now is the time. But there's a number of horses here that if there is a road closure, and no one is able to get up for a few days um, that the horses are fed and watered and, and cared for and checked on. Corey Legusker lives so far up Little Tahunga Canyon Road, he has to use a satellite phone to communicate. He says his 15 acre wildlife sanctuary burned down in the creek fire. Now he's hoping what's left doesn't get buried in the mud. There's gigantic boulders that are as big as the car, and it will come down and it will smash everything in its path. And many of the people that we spoke with say that they are staying despite these mandatory evacuation orders. And you have to remember there are also dozens of horses up there and, of course, all of the animals at the Wildlife Way Station. Back to you.